You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from January 29th. Yeah. A pretty good show. Yeah, they really uh, seem to have forgotten that this this is where it's supposed to be. Uh... No, that's not true. They should be doing good things. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not the slow time anymore. No. It just it felt like strange that they, after the night of a ro- the Royal Rumble, they actually like started to go full force usually they take a little while to build to the next right but they didn't have their uh roster member didn't win the royal rumble so they didn't have you know a title match set up Mm -hmm. and the women's is you know a whole new thing yeah yeah Um, that's true um so they they did need to uh figure out some things that that is a good point mm -hmm. but Um, every match had meaning and i think that's a huge Step in the right direction. And certainly uh, abnormal. Yeah, because we didn't get the same matches like we normally get. We nope. didn't even get a six-woman tag on SmackDown, for God's <laughs> sakes. I was actually about to mention that. <laughs> but oh, it, it, it felt like every match on here was, you know, important, like you said. Yeah. So yeah. it's always good. I know. Um, so the show opened up. They did, uh, like, a little recap of Asuka's win mm-hmm. at, in the main event of the Royal Rumble. Yep. Um, and then they showed how she was trying to decide which champion to face, and then Ronda Rousey obviously comes out. Um, and then after that, when they cut to the live feed, Stephanie McMahon comes out. She uh, starts talking about the Women's Royal Rumble, and then she like mentions Noteworthy, like the returning uh, legends yeah. and how long Sasha lasted Mm -hmm. and how great Nia Jax was. And And as she's talking, I'm like, she's not even talking about the the person who won (laughs) Won. it. And and then after a little while, she says, then tonight is all about Mm Oscar. And then she calls out Oscar. And this is where I cringed because I was like, Oh crap. They both won their respective rumbles. They're both not fluent in English. Oh, crap. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I was like, oh, geez. They actually did a pretty good job with this. Yeah. This, I mean, this one, I I think Shinsuke's was better, what they gave him to do. I also think that Shinsuke's English is a little better. It's true. Yeah. But I was like, oh, great. The audience is going to just. What? 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 (laughs) Also, before she uh, has uh, Asuka come out. She kind of casually just throws it out there oh, that the there's going to be a women's elimination oh, well, chamber yes, match yes, yeah. um, at uh, at the elimination chamber mm-hmm. to, for the women's title. Yes. And uh, later on, she says that the, there's a men's one that's not for the title or well, it's brought up. Right, because she brings Asuka out and she tells, you know, you know who do you want to face at Mania? And then she goes, before you make your, you know, announcement, there's going to be a women's elimination chamber the first ever women's elimination chamber um so the only gripe i really had with raw and this is not really the biggest thing is that you had so much built on the women main eventing the rumble and the first elimination chamber match and you had one match with them throughout the whole night it's no cruiserweights but we'll we'll talk about that later okay um but but that was my my really only gripe. To be fair, you wouldn't be able to say what you said earlier about the matches having meaning if you just threw a random tag team women's match. No, that that is true. So, but okay. In the next segment, we talk about three matches for the men's elimination chamber that are qualifying matches. Yes, you could have thrown a women's qualifying elimination chamber match in there. I don't think that they're going to have qualifying okay, matches. Okay, but you still have. <laughs> A couple people, at least, that are going to be left out. It's true, because as of right now, I think... It's what, six people? I want to say it's seven deep. Yeah. But maybe it's six with Alicia Fox getting hurt. Well, you have Bailey. Mm -hmm. Sasha. Sasha. Asuka, who's not going to be Naya, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville. Did I say Naya? I think so. Dana Brooke. (laughs) Dana Brooke. Uh, I think that's it. That might be it. Yeah. And then Alexa, so it'll be seven. But but, y- but yes. she's a participant in the match. Oh, it's true. Yeah. She, yeah. So one person that. would be but that might be like the night before you know, the week before. Yeah. They do so it. I was thinking 
Because normally what they'll do is either have qualifying matches mm-hmm. or, like, for the last spot, have, a like, a battle royal. But Bliss wasn't even on the show, right? She I, didn't even I, get interviewed about I could, the Elimination Chamber. I was thinking the same thing last yeah. time we were watching the Mixed Match Challenge if mm-hmm. she was on there. I, yeah, guess I, that, I don't think she was. I don't think so either. Like I mean, like I said, it wasn't anything huge, but I feel like you made such a big deal about this. You could at least... Well, their their thing was the Royal Rumble itself. Yeah. And Asuka was the focal point. Right. So, but then you bring in the Elimination Chamber. This starts a new chapter. I, I feel like next week they're going to do a lot with it. It's definitely... It definitely Fair would enough. make sense. I think they were more concerned about getting these three big matches mm-hmm. over with. Yeah. To... Well, you figure once they announce the participants, we're going to get singles matches between them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And but that'll happen both. Luckily, I think there's only like three weeks between right. here yeah, yeah, and yeah. the, the mm-hmm. Elimination Chamber uh, pay-per-view anyway. So it won't be too elongated like the feud between or the between Survivor Series and the Rumble. Because <laughs> that was yeah. Raw's first Two pay-per-view. Months. Yeah. Um, so, but it, and they were very brawn heavy this show mm-hmm. for some reason. Yeah, but he was only in the first first hour. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, brawn heavy. Yeah. But they they really put a big emphasis that's on that true. one thing that he did. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. that that took a lot right, of time for some yeah, yeah, reason. Yeah, that's true. Um, but um, anyway, back to Oscar being out there. Mm-hmm. She's out there with Stephanie, and Sasha comes out and says, "You know, I lasted." What did she last, 50 minutes or something like that? 54 minutes? Was it 54? I believe that was the number. All right. Well, she said that. Oh, well, I think Asuka had said that nobody's ready for Asuka. So that's what brings Banks out there. And then she says that I lasted 54 minutes and I'm ready for Asuka. So they make that match, right? They made that match then Mm -hmm. for later on tonight. Stephanie made it? Yeah. Well, yeah. uh, yeah, Sasha challenges her to a match. Right, right. So that was something yes you know, you know what I, i've also was thinking not this has anything really to do with this segment here but they see ratings drop in the third hour right uh-huh. every week now how many times are we questioning what the main event is going to be um or do they do that be- to keep you interested to see what's going on maybe well because i know a lot of times we can figure it out yeah, but there are times where you like you you don't really right. Know. I mean, honestly, this that Ten, could have been the main event uh, tonight. And that that actually would Banks. have made sense. Yeah. to be perfectly right. honest. Um, but what we got was like a suitable main event. Oh no, I'm not I'm not complaining about it. No, but I'm just saying, had they announced this match, I mean, I think it would have yeah kept people because um, that could have been the main event. Mm-hmm. The the Balor and yeah. Cena match which right, was yeah. the main so, event. We'll talk about that. And yeah. also the Roman Reigns and Miz match right. could have also been the main event. It's true. So, but uh, then we find out that there's three men's matches for qualifying. qualifying for the Elimination Chamber, which I'm guessing the winner is going to face Brock Lesnar at the Rumble. I mean at the at WrestleMania, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? They yeah, said that's, that. That's the yeah. goal. Um, so we're gonna have Elias versus Matt Hardy. Yes. Um, Which, John Cena versus Finn Balor mm-hmm. and Braun Strowman versus Kane in a last man standing match. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I don't know why that was the only well, match with the. We, st- we yeah, know yeah, exactly yeah, right, right. why. But we did get a finish to a Braun and Kane match, a singles match between mm-hmm. the two of them. It's true. So we're making progress here. Yeah. So uh, that match was actually up next. Yep. Um. So they very quickly make their way out out of the ring. <laughs> yeah. They walk around the outside in the stands. Make their way to the announce table that's by the stage. Um, I guess Braun knocks Kane down. He's laying on the ground. I guess, yeah. All the commentators run away. And then Braun just picks up the platform that the table is on and just flips it over Kane. Yep. So it was really funny because he clearly (laughs) didn't get hit by anything. No, no, no. There's probably like a uh, fabric in front of it and it just went right over. Yep, yep. So that was that was something, but apparently uh, that was almost deadly because mm-hmm. Corey Graves walks over to Braun after he does it, and he's like, "Well, Braun walks backstage first. He goes, in, oh, yeah, he and, leaves, and then, and he, then comes he comes back. back, and then Corey Graves is like, I don't want to go over there and talk to him. Yeah. So Graves is like, Braun, that was a human being. What did you do? I just did my job. <laughs> the match was last man standing. I'm last man standing. Yep. It's so good. But, I mean, that, that that's perfect. Oh, uh, yeah, it was appropriate. It's definitely true. Yeah. Um, so then... Also, also mm. before we move on any further, uh, sadly, I say that sarcastically, 
Uh, Booker T has been replaced. Ah, yes. On commentary, it is now Jonathan Coachman. Yeah. Of all people, kind of. It's a little surprising. Yeah, it was a little. I have no spri- problem with. I it, knew but... he left ESPN somewhat recently. Yeah, then... but I I liked Coach, so I have no problem with it. Yeah. The only really thing, the only real thing that he did, that was kind of like bad, was that he kept on calling uh, Titus Titus Worldwide, <laughs> <laughs> referring to the, the the individual, not, not the, the group. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, that's it yep so then braun is walking backstage and kurt angle comes up to him of course and he's like braun why do we have to keep having this conversation of you putting people in danger braun's like he, he you can you can see he's just getting pissed and then he just oh, yeah. starts yelling at kurt and he says i should have done more but i did exactly what you said and i was the last man standing mm-hmm. so yeah and then, and he said it'll be the last man standing at Mania too, right? Yes. Or in the Elimination Chamber, and, and then, then Mania. at Mania when he yeah. beats Brock Lesnar. Mm-hmm. I uh, believe him. Yeah, it's if, hard not. If to. only they didn't have that singles match. Oh, the but, the one at uh, yeah. No Mercy. I mean the the good thing going is that right after Braun had lost like the match with Lesnar, his <laughs> singles. He still had a big part on Raw. He was still built up huge. Oh, yeah. you know, it was did. like nothing happened. And yeah. then the same thing with him losing the night before at the Rumble. Mm-hmm. Not that he got... Did he? No, he didn't. They didn't get pinned. Kane, Kane, Kane did. Pin. Yeah. But um, it's true. But yeah, yeah. Make him strong again. And that's it's, it. No, it's but, and not hard. You do, do you really think about it? What? Braun losing? No. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, no, there's... Yeah. Doesn't matter. He lost to Reigns. Doesn't matter. No, he's entertaining. That's, yeah. that's well, it's all true. He he's, for. he's a likable character. It's true. He's, oh man, and then the mixed match challenge is fantastic yeah. with him too. Mm-hmm. Him and Alexa Bliss are a great he, pair. <sighs> not not that Sammy and Becky were bad. Yeah, it's just uh, those two I happen to like a little better. No, oh, but I, it, he doesn't nec- even need the title. Like no, like, I mean it would be nice to have, have for him to have it. Absolutely, it's but. True. I mean, it's not necessary. No, it's not. Especially yeah. when Brock is off TV and your main focus is Braun. Mm-hmm. They, they've done several episodes where he was like oh, the absolutely. large chunk of the time. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so, yep. All right, moving on. Mm-hmm. Up next, we have another uh, qualifying match. We have Elias versus Woken Matt Hardy. Yeah. And the only problem I had with this match is that they were trying to reconstruct the announcer's table oh, it was really at funny. ringside. So, they're fighting in the ring and all of a sudden you see the guys moving the table and it, it was just a distraction it more was, than anything it was nice to see the commentators huddle in a corner <laughs> in front of the monitor the on the ground it yeah, was good it was pretty funny yeah so while obviously this was a planned thing mm-hmm. they made it seem like it wasn't which was kind of funny <laughs> well it was so bad they had what this much room between the yeah. the ring and where the announcer's table was if, if someone had gone for like uh or just like misstepped and mm-hmm. like fl- fl- fell right out in of Michael the ring. Cole's lap. Yep. So it was pretty good, um, and it, it definitely looked better than if they just appeared with a yeah. desk right there, right away. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's more true. of a realism mm-hmm. there. Yeah. So the rest of the night, the whole the desk just stood up on its side. Oh, yeah. Uh, and by it the just stage, left it there. <laughs> it was pretty. Funny. Wires hanging everywhere. Yeah. And the what the the chair. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so the one on, stuck on yeah. top. Yeah. But I guess it was just the point where they could keep going back and showing yep. what had happened. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, but yeah, this was a not a particularly long match. No. Uh, pretty uh, standard for matt and uh elias yeah wasn't bad what did elias he came out and sung about um what the hell was it, it was something even... the ba- not the ballad of elias but it was something uh of elias i don't remember now i know he was talking about wwe standing for a walk with elias again. yeah wow um that's his thing it was some it had to yeah, be something i don't remember still need that t-shirt though what the the walk with elias i'm surprised they haven't came out come out with it because those uh rowdy ronda rousey shirts were on ww shop like as soon as the They're rumble probably ended. sold out immediately as well probably apparently she was wearing uh piper's jacket uh, it was i guess given to her by his son i think it was one of his uh children so makes sense yeah um so at least there's some you know connection well with yeah everything. I, I figured as much yeah <laughs> um so uh uh, towards the end of the match, obviously, mm-hmm. Wyatt has his weird stuff. The lights go out. Matt's looking around for him, like, "Where are you?" And uh, that distraction allows Elias hit Elias to hit a drift away on yep. Matt, 
And then he pins him. Yeah. And then what? The Wyatt came back on the screen. He started laughing. And then Matt kind of was laughing too. And then that was it. Yeah. I, I don't <clears throat> I don't get it. Yeah. Um, I'm a little upset about this. Mm. I honestly thought Matt was going to nah. win. Come on. I, Come on. I didn't want them to continue the Wyatt thing. I was kind of hoping it would end. We need to book a match between these two. Something ridiculous. Are you talking about the two of us? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you meant like they need to book a match. No, no, they've no, already no, no, done it. Poorly. No, yeah, no. And I mean, we need to come up with something like the House of Horrors. Yeah. Well, supposedly they're getting ready to film at Matt's house. Oh, are they? Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. Very cool. Um, Senor Benjamin. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. All right. And then we got a backstage promo with the Miz. Was this? Uh, this was one of his. Uh, the camera. The, the phone. phone. They did yeah. a lot of this. That's it's working. I like it. I don't know. All right. On SmackDown, I, I did have a problem with one of them, but oh. th- it's fine. Oh, I, yeah. It seems a little more, um, I don't know, like personalized. Yes. Like it, it's not just, you know, someone standing in front of a camera. It, it You're feels, actually, it feels right. more organic. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact, like. And of course, this is the first time they're doing it, so they're not going to be have it down pat, you know? Yeah. And like here with The Miz, mm-hmm. it's perfect because he's doing something that you feel like he would do. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We got to cut back on the production. We just signed Ronda Rousey. So, uh, yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> you can't guys. afford having regular cameras. You got to no, use, use yourself. yourself. We're not paying for your data either. <laughs> yeah, you, you mm. never know. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I liked it. But uh, The Miz basically just says that he's going to defend his title against mm. uh, Roman Reigns later on in the yeah. night. And, uh, later on tonight. And that match happened next. Well, <laughs> it was late. I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, so we have a very standard, uh, Roman and, uh, Miz. I mean, it was, it was good. I don't know, it was a good yeah. match, which, but that's the standard. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not like, um, I'm not talking about, like, uh, some random boring, like, a, it's not like a cruiserweight match that they put on Raw, where the standard is that it's not interesting, it gets <laughs> over quickly. It's the bathroom and, break, yeah. like the next match. Um, uh, but Roman seems to have learned from the last time, mm-hmm. so he decides to chase the Miz Taraj out of the arena. <clears> with well, he grabs a chair, a chair yeah. yeah, and then he, he's sick of them already, so he goes after him. I think the Miz was on the ground at this point, probably. So yeah. he chases them out. They run up the ramp, and then he's looking at the Miz to hit him with the chair. And the reference, don't you hit him with the chair? Yeah. I'll have to disqualify you. Yeah. Oh man, mm-hmm. good stuff. Yeah. But of course, the Miz Taraj eventually comes down to the ring. Um, was I forget who gets. Yeah, speared. they they do they do come back. Yeah. They try to distract mm-hmm. them. The Miz attempts to pull the um, the turnbuckle pad off yeah. again. Yes, but and the ref catches him mm-hmm. and says, "No, no, no, <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> Not today." Um, and then eventually, um, I think Dallas gets into the ring. And mm-hmm. Ro- oh no, he gets up on the apron. Roman throws him into the ring, and then oh, he gets right. speared. And then uh, the Miz sneaks up behind him, hits him with the skull crushing. No, he just rolls him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He but he did hit him with. No, no, I he reversed. He I thought he maybe Reigns reversed it. Probably. Yeah. Um, and then he rolls him up and he pins him. Yeah. So, Miz with two victories over Roman. Mm-hmm. Not both particularly clean, but it doesn't matter. It did the job, and the Miz is still champion. And a W is a W. <laughs> that's true. Especially when. Uh, you're dealing with people much bigger. Yeah, and, and you know they they find a way to make everything work. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, so there was rumors going around that Braun was going to face the Miz at WrestleMania. That's what I heard. I don't know how they're going to go about that. They they need to do what you said. You've been saying it, it needs to be Balor. Oh, being the Intercontinental Champion. Yes, why not? It does make sense, but what's that have to do with Braun facing the Miz? No, I know, but I mean, that's. Are you saying that it's the just asked, like, Balor should face the Miz? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, that would the, obviously make yeah, a lot more yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Because I think Braun doesn't really. Well, I think that was just like giving Braun something to do. Right. No, no, no. I, I got it. Um. But yeah, I, I like like obviously like you just said. I think Finn being the Intercontinental Champion makes a lot of sense, and a storyline well, they can go with. We'll get into it a little later on. Sure. All right. So up next, we had the uh, bathroom break match. Oh, what were you talking about? Not every match had meaning. Oh, yeah, this one. 
Uh, we had the Revival versus Rhino and Heath Slater. I was actually in the bathroom for this match. That's good. Um, I did come out to see uh, the Revival win with the Shatter Machine. Yeah. That's true. This surprised. match didn't mean anything. But I completely it, forgot it happened. That makes sense. But um, they had a good promo after the match. Well, yeah, because they're trying to play... Well, they're trying to play heel. Yeah. Um, but, but they kind of said that the crowd, you guys chant ECW, and you kind of live in the past, but we've learned from the past. Yeah. We've made it better or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, they they're, uh, they learn they're from old school, old school wrestlers, mm-hmm. and then that makes them better. Yep. Um, after that, we have uh, the announcement that the Dudley Boys will be in the Hall of Fame in 2018. Yeah. Um, that was... That's not a surprise. I guess it was more of... When the when Bubba decided that he didn't want to wrestle anymore, I guess yeah, or at least wrestle for the WWE. No, no, no. I think he even had forget. his retirement match in I want to say Ring of Honor, but I don't know if, for sure if that's true. Uh-huh. And then Devon works backstage in WWE. Well, yeah, because so, yeah. well, that's why I said Bubba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because Devon's been done, done for a yeah. while. I think. Yeah, he's got two sons, right? We did we talk about that? Who? Devon. I believe uh, he's got two sons that are a tag team. I had no idea. Yeah. I believe it. Mm-hmm. It's certainly not uh, uncommon to right. have wrestling no, no. children. But it's just a cool thing. Yeah. Um, yep. So up next, we have a Balor Club promo. Yeah, it was another one of those phone promos, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistake- mistaken. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gallows and Anderson keep on talking about, about how... 57 minutes and what, 38 seconds? Yes. That it was? Yeah. Yes. All right. Why didn't they beat up, bring up, bring, beat up John Cena? It should have been brought back. It's true, but that was also an AJ thing. thing. I know, I know. So. But he could have just sent him. Uh, Gallus and Anderson could have said, and tonight we also get to beat up John Cena again. Well, they don't get to. No, I know. Would've. They weren't even at ringside. But they came out. I know, but they... I, oh, yeah, I guess I, I didn't I don't think notice. they were at Maybe ringside. they were just valeting. I guess. Uh, whatever. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, Balor oh, yeah, says yeah. that Cena's going to have to pay for causing, you know, eliminating him from the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. So even that match made sense to happen. The yeah, two it's of true. Them. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm yeah. Sure there's something did Matt and Bray eliminate Elias together? I know they had I elimin- think they did. Yeah. I know they eliminated somebody together. It yeah, maybe it was. It was yeah. So I guess everything kind of comes together. Yeah. Um, all right. So up next, Sasha is interviewed <laughs> by Renee. It's just funny that we're perplexed by things you know making sense oh yeah i know it's <laughs> very strange um but she says that oscar made history last night mm-hmm. but now it's her time to make history i guess yeah. ending her undefeated streak mm-hmm. that's what she was going for yeah um and then we have that match yeah this was this was something it was good it, it was, was scary good. and then the crowd was kind of dead for some of it yeah um but there was a point where I think Sasha, I guess, went for a suicide dive. Mm-hmm. And the only thing that stopped her fall was Asuka's kick. And she landed straight on her head. Yeah. I d- did she make contact with the LED board and then down or no? Uh, I think she just went straight down. Yeah, because I only saw the angle from straight on. Yeah. Um, it looks like she... It happened finally. Not not finally, but I've expected it to happen sooner or later. Where what? someone's foot gets... Stuck oh, on the rope, the and yeah, they go straight down. Yeah, um, yeah I think Mick Foley scary. even commented on uh, Twitter about her not doing that anymore because she does a fantastic job of almost killing herself. <laughs> I mean, and and the not the funny thing is, but her selling is one of her best. Yeah, it's uh, true. Features. So in it's the hard ring. to tell the difference between uh, work yeah. and. But uh, yeah, there was a couple times in the match where she looked like she was visibly uh, tearing up, mm-hmm. um, and then. A little later on in the match, when uh, Asuka took a tumble out of the ring. Oh, yeah, because that... I think Sasha, like, opened the ropes. Yeah, opened the she... ropes, but they were super, and she just fell right out. Yep. I don't know. I don't think she landed on her head, but... No, she landed on her back, butt, I yeah, think. Back butt, yeah. Um, so that one wasn't as mm-hmm. bad, but I'm sure it wasn't fun. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Especially when you're going backwards, Yeah, you yeah, know? she flew right out of the yeah. ring. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, this... No, this was a really... It was an even match. This was... It's true. Uh, this is the first time that Oscar's really been, I guess, put to the test, yeah. so to speak. Was Sasha already up before? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I Sasha figured never as much. Faced she ne- no, I didn't. I didn't know if they had any type of interaction. I didn't think so. But Oscar beat Bailey for the title, and that was That's the right. only, yeah. the only real interaction that she had mm-hmm. with any of the. Yeah. Yeah, because she had defended against Nia as well mm-hmm. in NXT. Yeah. 
But yeah, Naya came up shortly after mm-hmm. that. Um, but yeah, Sasha, Asuka, no. I think this is their first match together, yeah. or at least first uh, mm-hmm. televised match. Yeah. Um, but leading up to the ending of the match, Banks was able to put the bank statement on Asuka, and Asuka reversed it into the Asuka lock, and Banks had to tap. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, this was it was good, aside from the scary moments. Well, yeah, but there's nothing you can do about that. No, no. Well, not to those moves well, anymore. It's true, but... <laughs> That's a freak thing, not a yeah, uh, performance absolutely. thing. So, all right. So, so, no, 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 no. Go ahead. All right. I was gonna say after that match, we have a uh, John Cena phone promo. His felt the most natural. It's just because of his confidence it's on him. the microphone. It really is. Yeah. It's just, it's just amazing. He doesn't need to. He just does. Yeah. yeah there's no. This was him. What walking down the hallway? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because he can. He can make a. It like. I don't. I, I'm sure it wasn't completely scripted, but he can make a completely scripted thing sound like this is the words that he's mm-hmm. like that. This is how he feels. He's just so good at cutting promos at this point. Yeah. Um, but it comes on about saying that um, this is the time of year where everyone's goal is to make it to WrestleMania, and this is my chance to make it to WrestleMania, mm-hmm. and this is how I'm going to do it by winning the elimination. Which is match. so funny because this played a factor in the match as well. Of the. Um, with him just saying, I'm, I'm just trying to go to oh, WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, that was weird. It was <laughs> strange, the the way that the match flowed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, another good John Cena promo. Mm-hmm. It was short. Um, the only weird thing was the fact that it was like the WWE's Twitter page that like had on the bottom. Oh, oh. Because everyone else's his, was theirs, yeah. but his was the WWE's for some reason. He is the Could WWE. have been a mistake. Probably. But it was just funny. Yep. Um, so up next, we have the Tag Team Championship match. Uh, the Bar defending against Titus Worldwide. Yes. Uh, Titus had, what, two victories over them? Yeah, the two last, previous last few weeks. weeks. It was two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was bef- the week before Raw 25. They had two in a row, I think, right? I believe so. Yeah. A um, couple scary moments in this match as well. Well, Apollo Crews tried to kill himself. Yeah. And Sheamus. Yes. Uh, um, one point, I guess... Cesaro had thrown Apollo into the ropes, right? Mm-hmm. He came back, and Cesaro threw him over. Well, no, I think Cesaro was going for something, and uh, Apollo jumped over. Oh, was it? it? I, I think that's what I happened. Thought he, I thought he threw him over, and Sheamus was supposed to catch him and powerbomb oh, him. Yeah, that would make But they kind of twisted, and Apollo kind of went down on the back of his neck. Well, from the look of it, um, Apollo thought he was going to get... Um, oh, the uppercut? Yeah. Yeah. And Seamus thought he was getting a Hurricane Rana. <laughs> so that's why Seamus tumbled. Oh, and, man. And it ended up with Apollo just landing on his head. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I, I mean, the guy is such a phenomenal athlete. It's just so a shame to see him. His cues are bad. That's what it is. Well, no, no, no. But not even with that. But it's just a shame to see him at the bottom, kind of. With someone so athletic, you you know you want I want yeah, you, uh, you want uh, what, that, you want what? me to be perfectly honest. I <laughs> thought there was a chance they were going to win that match. I didn't I, think so. I honestly thought that they were there was a chance. I, I would have been fine with it. Yeah, because it makes sense. Yeah, because they're building up Titus worldwide. Right, and they won two matches against the bar, so yeah. it can happen. Exactly. <clears throat> um, so I was a little disappointed. <laughs> Obviously, ultimately the bar retained. I think it was uh, they, yeah, they hit, hit Apollo the... with the white noise. Yeah, but there was that other spot oh, where when he hit his head on the turnbuckle. Yeah, they threw him into the turnbuckle, uh, po- <laughs> the ring post. He was supposed to hit his shoulder, and he hit the side of his head. You just see him holding his head. I'm like, oh my god, this guy's gonna kill himself. <laughs> he's very ambitious, and now we know why he's at the bottom. <laughs> um, he's he's really bad at taking tests. <laughs> No, but I mean they have something here at least. You know they've true. they've established themselves as a contender in the tag team division. That so. they've actually made something of Dana Brooke, mm-hmm. kind of, because she's it gives her it gives her something to do. Exactly. I so. mean I, she's probably going to be the one left out of the. I would imagine so. Yeah, it's just they have that. You still Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville are both fairly new to throw them into this type of match. You know, I think that's fine because. They're, they've never been shy about putting... All right, no, one new... of them's going to make it, because we got Mickey, Bailey, Naya, Sasha, Alexa, and there's somebody else I was thinking. Well, 
I don't think there is anybody else. Maybe, maybe well, one of the two of them. Yeah, probably. And then Dana Brooks, so that would make it. Honestly, I would wouldn't be surprised if Mickey wasn't in it. Yeah. And have both so- Sonya and uh, Mandy. In it. Uh, speaking, I think it was the match taped for main event was Bailey versus uh, Sonya. No, not Sonya, Mandy Rose. So. Yeah. There was that other women's match I True. was talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, um, at least they looked good. It's true. Uh, like I said, I would have yeah. no problem with them winning the titles. Yeah. It and it's feeling less unlikely. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. So, that's true. Well, you got to think once. I mean, how how much longer are the bar going to stay together? You know, with Sheamus's health issues and yeah. that, you, and there's no other face yeah. tag team right now to take the that's titles true off too. of them. Yeah, because I'm surprised Rhino and Heath Slater are honestly still together. I guess I don't know. They but they just make an appearance every once in a while, so yeah. it's not usually right. it's, to lose. Oh yeah. So sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, up next we have our main event: John Cena versus Finn Balor. It's another one of those qualifying matches. A little bit of a head scratcher here. This uh, was an interesting match. It just just it felt, felt weird. weird. Yeah, exactly. Um, so John Cena obviously gets booed a lot. Oh yeah. Anytime he went on the offensive, he was getting booed, and then there was moments where the crowd was taking over because apparently, I guess, an Eagle fan and a. Uh, um, uh, New England. Fan? Thank you. Yes, Patriots fan were fighting in the audience. I guess, and that's why oh, everybody's that's attention what that was? was averted. Okay. Yeah, I thought I it figured was, it was a beach ball. I thought the same thing. Christina started like looking, looking that way. Yeah, yeah. but then I guess because he probably would have reacted if it mm-hmm. was that <laughs> pissed with ball. Yeah, because he's done that before. Yeah. But I guess since it obviously wasn't anything that they could really bring up, they no. didn't. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there was points where cena was getting booed mm-hmm. and then like you said he's just going to the crowd he's like i'm just trying to get yeah. to wrestlemania yeah, it was just weird pauses like finn would stay down for yeah. a, a long time yeah. and Cena would just kind of be like mulling around the ring yep I'm just trying to go he, to wrestlemania looked, it made it look like he was distracted yeah instead of like him being um motivated mm-hmm. it, it was more like this was a burden on him as kind of to a, yeah uh, no no that makes sense i'm just he's like i'm just doing my job you know this is what they wanted me to do yeah i so, don't want to do it but yeah. i don't want to go because even when he finn. eliminated finn from the rumble he kind of just stared at him as he was on the ground didn't i guess he? that yeah. was kind of to build this I guess, maybe yeah i don't know it was strange yeah um cena obviously won like yeah. we had alluded to yep. earlier finn kicked out of one aa mm-hmm. And then Cena went with the golden shovel up to the top rope. Oh, with the uh, super AA. <laughs> yeah. It was a middle rope. But... Oh, whatever. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, but he, he had a very unenthusiastic five-knuckle shuffle. Yeah. Um, it was just an odd, odd thing. Also, you had thought that, there, or you had said that there were rumors that possibly after this match, The Undertaker would come out to establish yeah. Cena versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Obviously, that did not happen. Right. But that would have, I mean, you could have had him distract Cena and have Finn oh, go absolutely. over. That's and, what you, I, once you said that, I'm like, oh, that's yeah, definitely that going to happen. It would make sense. But yeah. Nope. But, so that leaves which uh, I, what's, I'm fine with no under, you know, I mean. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not like I'm looking for it. It was just something that. Well, it's what you heard. Yeah, it's, exactly. Um, I hear some crazy things. Yeah. Especially from the voices in my head. Um, <laughs> but that does leave the question what's Finn going to do? um leading up to wrestlemania yeah and it's there's nothing clear right now no no because we still have to get through the elimination chamber and then what a whole nother month yeah so theoretically speaking it could be um him and cena at mania the demon yeah that wouldn't be bad no i'd be fine with that as long Especially as cena if, was motivated <laughs> well, i don't because i don't think this was intentional lack of motivation mm-hmm. i think this was storyline yeah because of the motivation. two of them could and maybe that's why they didn't put on a hell of you know but yeah because yeah. they're saving it right. for exactly a bigger stage sense. yeah that'd be good though because cena's match with aj matches yeah. with aj were so good yeah and so i think cena in the chamber is just another draw oh absolutely yeah. i because honestly i didn't think he was gonna be at the pay-per-view right right so. i didn't even think i was like oh cena's not gonna win this there's no way and then yeah. i was like oh yeah son well, of a bitch yeah like why would he what what is the purpose? Right. If he's not going to win the match mm-hmm. or not going to win the elimination chamber, why is he going to be yeah. in it? Yeah. But then again, last year he came in as champion and he lost. That is true. So he did. That was a head scratcher. Stinky guy. Bray Wyatt. <sighs> Whatever. 
I don't want to think <laughs> about that, man. You're making me all sad. Oh man. But yeah, this was a, a really good raw overall. Yeah, um, going coming out strong yeah, after the Royal Rumble. Absolutely. We are officially on the road to WrestleMania. Yep. And then in March we'll be in the fast lane, which is a SmackDown live pay per view. It's so and, dumb. And on that note, this was our raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.